Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are at the end of March and as you can see we have got zero money. And that is because we have been spending money on some things. And yet I say things as a plural and not singular because in that episode we was considering whether or not to buy a new tractor and guess what? We didn't, so what we've gone done is purchase some more land. But yeah, we are desperate for cash right now, so what we're gonna do in a sec here, as we're just cleaning the muck from the cows, is go and sell some produce and a lot of it, including the flour. Because yeah, the flour we have been accumulating, because yeah, we haven't really needed it for the bakery net. Because of the consumption right now, because we have so much flour to process, like, at the moment we've still got, what, yeah, a little bit left of, a little bit of flour left, so, or a little bit of grain left material to process, so, what's that? Yeah, i say another month, month, month and a half, by month and a week, I'll say. So come sort of May, we'll have no more flour being produced, so... Yeah, that is an interesting thing. I think what we'll do next afterwards is, with the remainder of flour being produced I think the best thing to do is just go and whack it into the bread production and keep production. Because obviously they're not going to set it to distribution, otherwise they'll distribute the flour to the other production facilities. And we do want that, so a little bit more than you're left to clear here. There we go. And then just a tight spot here. But yeah, for what we're gonna be selling is our breads and cakes that we have been producing since then, There's only a couple of pallets, some strawberries, and some apple juice and apple honey as always. And also we're gonna be selling the wool, like the wool we can wait a little bit longer and they should pay it next month, but, well, not pay it next month, sell it next month for a slightly better price, but, yeah, I thought, we need money now, so let's just go and produce. Obviously, we're not absolutely desperate, desperate for money, because we purchased new land, not any equipment or anything, so, we'll go and have a look at that in a sec here. But yeah, so we got 101,000 liters of flour, along with 2,000 liters of eggs, and these are going to be sold here at the cookie cell station, so we should get a decent amount of money for this. And there we go, so we're selling that bit of the eggs, and yeah, in total that was 233 grand, so... Yeah, overall, not too bad. Now, let's sell the rest of these. So, we got a lot of stuff, including what we said, along with our salad and tomato juice. So, let's go and sell these. There we go. Find the best area to sell them. Huh? What's going on here? You know what? Let's just sell everything here at the sell everything container. There's yeah, no idea what's going on there, so let's go out and position ourselves. Then why aren't we selling anything? Is it a bug or something? Like, what's going on here? Get our menu open up here a sec. So, yeah, we want. Sell the other stuff, but. So let's say toggle remote. Uh, 
There we go. Frick knows what happened there. So yeah, you know what? Just give me a few moments whilst I go and sell these, because I don't know what's going on here. So, right, after selling pretty much everything, we are left with a decent sum of money. So, you sell these. Sell you. Ah, yeah, along with all this wall as well. But yeah, no idea why we had that issue, but anyways, plan for today is going to be pretty much working the fields and that. Get a cut of hay because we do need a little bit of hay for the cows. And I thought, hey, hey, we could just do a cut. Oh, uh, what field is it? This field here, 45, and then ted it, tethers at the shop. And then the beater now, that's located down here between 45 and 110. So, yeah, 110 is one of those fields we plowed up in the last episode. It did have a crop in there, but. I was willing to make that sacrifice because we've got plenty of other fields, so our field purchases is 91 and 92. These are barley, no sorry, rye and oats. Just look at the different colours between the rye and the barley. Also, we've gone and purchased the access area for number 10, so if we go to here a sec. And because we made this purchase, there has been a bar set up between what is our property, what we can use technically, and what is the agro cooperative. So, this part of land here, along with the existing concrete foundation, is the cooperatives. And all this area here, that you see, is ours. So, fair enough, we've got to deal with a pylon in that. That's fine. So yeah, we've got two means of access in this area. So we've got this little way here. And then also, if we go around these trees, we also have this other access area, thankfully. Come to agreement with the owner of Field 9 to have access, so we put a bit of... Was it gravel, whatever it is in? So, now we've got clean access to the fields. So yeah, all that costs us a lot of money, so... For this area here, I think it was like so for around 120 grand we purchased that for. And 131 was 120, and 109 is 156 grand. But I'm thinking, let's purchase 165. That ain't a field, that ain't a grass field or anything. So if you go to hydroponic greenhouses, so. This is number six, and this is a huge potential area to be a field. Okay, if we purchase that, yeah, do we can purchase was that field 19 or whatever, but will that be worth it? Uh, maybe a good error for. Sunday productions and that because also we're doing the what's it sugar beet not not sugar beet uh the red beets and that all the new stuff from the premium edition or premium expansion DLC so actually if we look at that a sec got the premium expansion so we want the suit factory and that itself is 135 grand and that is a pretty big area as well to fill in. Not sure where we put that to, but hmm, there is a couple of options. Like, what about if we do put it over here? So, so yeah, have a little look, and yeah, this could be a lot of terraforming. Can we get one three five up here? get 136 so maybe that's an option for us but something down there just because yeah it's going on the right and I guess wherever we're facing that front 
is going to be where it's going to spawn out, so got to think about that as well. Several areas, yeah, look at that down the road. There will be an area for us for that, but you know what? Screw it, let's buy 165. So, this month alone, we have spent two and a half million quid on new land. Yet, there's other expenses like a million quid for new equipment, 100 grand in construction, that's just bits in general, servicing our equipment, 54 grand because we repaired the fence and that, leasing, a little bit of expense. But yeah, and dang it, I forgot we got that 600 grand loan. However, fear not, because we've got our soybean sell, so in June, they're going to be worth a fair bit. Along with. Let's uh, just look at the price of TMR Forge Dealer. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah. That's offering a very good price for soy at the moment, the forage dealership. But now, what was I saying? Ah, the field beans. Got 112,000 litres of that. That's going to be worth 4,300 in June, into July, so... Come down, we're going to be pretty much sorted with money. And I think what we do as well... Is... To earn some money quickly by doing a little bit of forestry, so what I'm gonna do is purchase this sand here. I'm gonna head to the dealership sec. Yeah, we'll get sorry so we'll sell the sir as well, but on the way we'll speak to the dealership. Because I want to do a bit of forestry. Also we don't have the money now. However, you may be able to come to a some form of leasing agreement. Where we can lease some equipment and overall it works out well for us. We borrow some equipment, do a little bit of forestry, get some cheap wooden that to sell, and then yeah, I think that's gonna be a really good option for us. So there we go, gone in, come to agreement with the dealership and that. We've paid 1500 quid in deposit and we do have access to uh, as part of that, us we have access to their class scorpion take hander to load the logs up we also want to be doing some replanting so we've got twin trees to replant and attached to this we've got a blade and a winch so we can winch trees about also, we'd be given access to this area here, so if you want to pull the logs across and into here, then we can. But I'm going to try to stick it within the confines of here, because I don't know what traffic is going to be like here, honestly, so... Obviously, for some of it, we're going to have to do ourselves, because we'll have issues with getting the tree harvester around these areas over here. But, um... The middle area here that should not be a problem for us so I'm thinking if we start on the edge trees not suitable apparently oh this one no what types of trees are these shop out here shop park here trees and oaks ourselves manually with those ones but that's fine but yeah let's start off with some of the edge ones here so let's start with you get you all lined up I should get ourselves into position there there we go timber so yeah, how long is this tree? It's 25 meters, so we'll make sure we've got 8 meters selected. There we go. Let's 
go, so let's say to here. Ooh. Wasn't a big fan of that. There we go, so that's our first logs. And now let's go and grab some more. So we'll go with this one next. Timber. So let's go and chop you up. And actually, let's try some of the bigger ones. What we can do about those. So, I'm say. Let's go with a oak tree. So. I'm going to have to cut it this way going down, so... There we go. So yeah, we can cut with a chainsaw, that's not going to be a problem. Oh, because there is, who we run out of money for a few and that. Oh! Oh, that was close. Oh, suddenly it was going this way. So this weighs 1.9 tonnes. Uh, it's going to be a lot of felling, that's for sure. Because what we need to do is cut this up into small bits. Alright, that's weird. Why don't we cut you this way then? So yeah, we're going to do a lot of felling, get these sort of straightened out a bit. And then, yeah, what I'll do is we'll go and sell them. I'm not sure where exactly we can sell them at the moment, but I'm sure we'll find somewhere. So, yeah, let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. much right now to get everything sent over to where well, I'm hoping we're able to sell this. That's the thing. I should do know if we're able to sell this because there's no prices on the price page. So if we have a look here, so go to your prices. Usually woods will come up near like, around here like near wood chips now. I know we can get wood chips but there's no indication for wood so that's one thing. But yeah, also we need to use this sec because we had a little issue. We like ended up clipping that tree over there. A couple of logs got flown off. So now what we need to do is recover this. Of course, I didn't mention how much all this is going to cost us in terms of leasing. I spoke to the dealership and that when we came to our arrangement, basically it's ten grand a month. That's just for the week. 
so basically until sunsets here on the fourth week of March, so good, we can get that hooked up, we get absolutely soaking wet with this, but these must. And can we read it in? I know it's one of these, so the doors. I'm guessing it's... Ain't there a... Ah, wait a minute. I, there we go. Nope. We're sucking it. We'll bring it in. There we go. Now if we just bunch that back up. I'll get the rest of these connected, so... You connect to there and you connect to here, so there we go. We'll bring them as close as we can, so yeah, so we've got those logs here. Parts here in a sec, so we're using this case. Basically, this is a case we was all about possibly purchasing. And you know, try to keep this balanced because I've got this massive seven and a half ton weight on the front. Because so I thought, oh, you'll need this to stop the tray from tipping. However, yeah, raise it up. Yeah, that happens so. We're going to have to sort of straight along the floor. But I still rather have this, so the chances of this train tipping, because obviously we're on a swivel axle, my absolute nemesis. When it comes to trainers, just because it's things like, when things go wrong, we can easily go wrong and very quickly. Obviously, patience is key with this, so. Alright, so. There ain't so many about on the map. So we need to go to the cell every container. That's one place I know accepts the wood. Actually, can we even sell it? That's the thing. I have got no idea whatsoever. Actually, what we do is. Attach that trailer. As long as that doesn't go tipsies on us. I'm gonna disconnect the weight. Now, what I was gonna do is get signed up and then hopefully sell some words. Because if not, then yeah, we need to look into getting a sawmill in and they're not cheap. And that's why I wanted to be on, because that would happen. That's why I hate swivel axles, and it just likes to tip. Just don't tip right now. So I've got everything all lined up, I think, and... Nice, we can actually sell words. That is absolutely beautiful. So now let's go and grab that case. So we should get some more money in comparison to the size because of that oak log, so let's see if that's the case. And there we go with our other log, so let's see how much money we'll get from this, because yeah, if we look at the sizes, 8 meters, 450 kilograms, the oak, 1.7 tons, so we should get a decent amount of money, and for those free logs, that is Actually, rather incredible, so let's go and send that 10 grand to the dealership. And yeah, we've got the rest of those logs to sort out. The problem is, we can't use the tree harvester for those, so I've got a cunning idea, so bear with me a sec, I'll do a little jump cut here, because this will require a little bit of work. And yeah, it's going to be a little surprise, I think. And this is what I came up with. So, she, I've cut every tree down. I've tried to fell them where I can, but 
yeah, it's got so overwhelmed very quickly, so... Oh, we've got one tree here, have we? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, no. That's just sort of semi-levitating. But yeah, all these trees are cut down. Now we need to sell them, so we'll take these straps off. And we'll use this mobile wood sell point, so let's go sell some woods. There we go. And just like that, we are making money. So at the moment we're up to 40 grand. It's not too bad. I'm gonna cut you down a bit more. Let's say there should be fine. Even that looks perfectly cut to me. That last cut I did, but uh, probably not then. There we go. Just want to make sure I got everything here. Yep. Yep. Grab you a sec. So yeah, I was going to quickly go around and oh, one, one more woody I've got. So yeah, grab me a sec whilst I get the rest of these sold and then we'll see where we go from there afterwards. Sold, we're back up to a hundred grand, and yeah, this looks so different. And this is all gonna be replanted, don't worry, just being reckless de deforestation and spoiled the local climate. I think we could be putting more trees, I've got 20 trees there at the moment, but I think we may put more down. However, I need to speak to these ships, I think they've got one more piece of equipment we need. And that's going to be a mold shirt and yeah we've got one here but it's a bit tedious and it goes right into the soil and that. I don't want to do that too much so yeah bear me a sec whilst I get these some sorted and there we go so yeah we are done now with the wood chipping we got about 6,000 a year so that's decent enough. It's quick sell sorry. Actually, could have gone to the farm and picked up some more, but oh well. Apologies, there. Hiccup. Just had my Christmas dinner and that, so yeah, I'm thinking I ain't gonna get much from this. Only a couple of hundred quid, but it's better than nothing at the end of the day. So yeah, we managed to fill this straight up. So. Let's go and dump this. I said we'll go and dump this. There we go. Oh, well, maybe about a grand, but again, not much more than that. So, yeah, a grand and a half, so yeah, pretty much nothing. Uh, nothing interesting in the used market, so. We'll go and return the trader. And now, what are you still doing there? You little scab. So, just whack you there, I'm so. Nope. Uh, oops. You will go over here. Stop, stop throwing it. Come on. Behave. So, yeah, what we've got to do now is go and. Start replanting the trees. Actually, I'm shaping up for food. At the moment, they're doing good. Do a little topping up at Court Farm. But apart from that, it's fine. We need more grass and that, grass or hay for the rabbits. And our Anguses are gone through what we've provided them, so. Maybe worth actually do the forest planting in the next episode. 
maybe it's work because we've got a lot of the merch stuff set up already down here. This is already so. Let's just go and why not just yeah go and mow it. it shouldn't take us too long. We've got the merch up there ready. So yeah, let's go down there a sec and have a little look. I will take this with us because we're gonna need to pick up these bells. And here we go, we're ready to go, and yep, yeah, mower is here. The tray for the bells is here, and the wind rower and bather is over here, so... Actually, if I go to you a sec... Ooh, we get a bell canter, didn't realise that. So yeah, we need to select these bells, so... Uh, three times, four... I think if we just go... Three times the size for now... Just get a few bells out of that. And then yeah, what we'll do is just whack it onto the back of the trailer and that. Obviously, if we're doing silage, we'll wrap them up in that. And that's why, I said in... When we've got this, that's why it's got that three point hitch on the back, so it really saves on the amount of equipment we need to use. So, without any further ado, let's get cracking. Ooh, no, 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 no. We will swath drop in. Yes, we've got a wind rover in that, however, and a bigger, a big pickup, but still. I'd rather to do the wind rows where and when I can, especially with the mowers themselves. But yeah, so the rest of the fields we can do next month, and actually this is going to be our least efficient field, so... Because we didn't plow and... didn't plow and didn't roll, I think? Yeah, no plowing and no rolling. That's a 20% penalty we got there. I think also mulching we didn't do because it's like two and a half percent for mulching, two and a half percent for rolling, and then the other fifteen percent is for plowing. I think how that works. It sounds about right. Uh, yeah, I just love this crone. It's just make life so much easier. Feels like nagging through gates like here. It is a super tight fit, but it's just big enough. And I mean, it is just big enough. Bit of a squeeze. If it's a single lane gate snap into a field, then yeah, it needs to do like a 50 point turn. But again, because where this folds up, the width ain't an issue, it's just the length of it. That's the issue for us, but that we can work with. Probably with like pre removal setups around here, especially like, like, like UK maps in general, is. It's super tight lanes. Or foreign tight lanes. Uh, what else? I think Chip and Norton, I was going to say Disney Sport Farm, but Chip and Norton has got some tight little entrances. And I'm sure whether Matt. Oh, yeah. I saw a video today by DJ Goham. It's called the Cotswold, I think it is, or something like that. There's no details on that yet, just not as far as I'm aware. Probably looked into it. Obviously, recording this on Christmas Day now on the eve, so I haven't really had much time to look around on what models are doing at the moment. So yeah, I think if we, yeah, basically I'd like to wait this for Compton Farms. That's another map that has some tight entrances. Perhaps. Maybe depends on how far he's in the progress of it. Maybe summer to the end of the year, maybe looking at. But yeah, you know it's totally worth it, especially by Mapper's like Auction David, who put a ton of work into his maps. I'm not saying other map makers are as good, I'll just say the level of detail Oxy puts into his maps, like the fine little bits. Especially with all the UK maps, like especially with 19 that with oh what was it? Lone Oak. 
was by Oxy, I think. Uh, was Somerset, not Somerset Farm, um, oh, what's that map on Mr. P did this series on? With the helicopters on that, on that top left part of the map, with huge fields on the left hand sides. I did a series on it. Oh, what was it? Uh, they were getting the maps mixed up, I am. Um, uh, what I was on about was Sussex Farm, and then that wasn't by Oxy, that was by A.U. Jim. Because, yeah, A.U. Jim did that, and I knew Oxy did maps like Chanton Valley, did a series on that. Um, Oakfield, I don't think I did one on that, I think it was something similar by Nancy Boy. Oak Hill, that was it. Oak Hill, I did that. No, that wasn't my first Let's Play series. The Fells Run thing was my first Let's Play series, but. But yeah, no, no, Oxy did. That was a favourite map for me to play. And uh, what else was it? Sandy Bay 19. Oh, that was a beautiful map. Did do a Let's Play series on it, but it was one of those maps I played in my own time. Like with FS22, Oxy, I put many hours all into my Let's Play series, like, at the moment, I don't think we can tell on here, but, no. But I, at the moment, I've got somewhere around 300 hours on the map, if I remember. I'll put a clip up in sec here. But yeah, I've got 300 hours on here. Constant farm. Uh, what was it, about 250 hours? By spring, before the update, I have close to 200 hours on it. New Man's Sand, around, again, 225, 250 hours or something like that. So yeah, we add that together, that's what? Like a thousand hours at least? About a thousand, twelve, like about 1250 at sea. Can't do the math in my head at the moment, but... But yeah, that's... Nothing comparisons into what I have put in in my own time. Like I've shared this recently, well, pretty much actually posted about an hour ago. So on um, the CPC Discord server, I like, just having a chat now with some fellow peeps and that. And yeah, I was full. How many hours have people put into this game so far? Like FS22. And I've looked at my stats. I'm on the PlayStation 4, so. I think at the moment get your stats on last gen, last gen console, either at the moment when this is going now, they get a notification by Sony. Maybe you've got to scan like a QR code for whatever weird reason, but you can actually see the total times you've played on the game. Whether that's overall or in the last year. The one that I use is a thing called Exoface, exoface.com. Uh, it's basically like the PlayStation on the, on the PS5 and that, where it keeps track of your hours and that. Obviously with PlayStation 4 and PS4 Pro, which I've got, that had no tracking whatsoever, so it was hard to track all. But yeah, it's fun, like, just look at the other games I've played like, since I've had the PlayStation and that, like... I was into my sim racing, thousands of hours I played sim racing, like, one game alone. Project Cars, I put 2,000 hours on that game. That was me doing mainly league racing. I was yeah, back in 2018, 2019. Huge, yeah, about 2018, huge interest in racing and that. It's one of those things that pretty much got me through recovery that after my motorcycle accident. That's one of those things that got interest in it. Invested a fair bit of money, about I know, probably a grand or so at least in equipment for the police challenger seats, which I'm currently on my second one at the moment, so not too bad overall. Say, got a Frostmaster wheel at the moment, I can't remember which one. I, got a Ferrari, I know I got a Ferrari F1 add on, not the new one with the, what was it, the LED screen. God, they look beautiful, but I got the older one. A few years old by now, I think it is. And yeah, those sub pedals, not those sub pedals, uh, not your standard pedals you'll get now. It's 
like spring adjusted it here, it's like the T3PA Pro pedals. Very popular back in, well, I'll say back in the day, back in 2018 in that era. And yeah, just other bits and bobs and that gear shifters here and there, and mainly former stuff. Also, your GT cars and that, the Mons and that. And yeah, just a mixed bag. But now, I am actually a dictator farm sim, so. And that ain't a bad thing, I mean, having a passion up for farm sim. So yeah, in that little ramble there, we have gone and done the moment, so yeah. Now I think it's good to finish off the episode here by doing a little quick time lapse of us getting the. Uh, what's it, wind room done. And just show you folks I'm not cheating. You can't get out of here, it's just really tight. But yeah, let's get the wind room and the bailer, get all that bailed, move up onto the trailer. And then we'll feed our chickens, our chickens, what am I on about? Feed our rabbits, the grass they need. Actually no, we was going to do hay, was it? Yeah, hay, we was going to do hay, so... Actually we need to tell it first, so... Let's use John Deere here a sec. Field and overall 120,000 years and about another 12, 15,000 years left in the beater. That wasn't quite enough to make another bell. Yeah, sure, if we change down sizes or something like that. Yeah, maybe then we could work something out. You need to be a little bit careful here. Actually, what's going past the farm? Does our sheep here need. Nope. They're good. Stonebridge Farm sheep, they need. Yeah, Stonebridge Farm. They need hay, so. Well, it's just grass, but grass or hay. Pretty much the same thing, the only difference is slightly dried. And. Honestly, that didn't take us too long. In fairness, like, at one field. Did not take long at all, so. You know what? I am. 
not too fast about giving them hay, so what I'm going to do is go over here, and I think first of all what we'll do is we'll drop one whole bale for the, what was that, about 40 rabbits, nope, unstrap, so yeah, we'll grab one. And this is going to be just for the rabbits. So obviously when we did the hay last time, we didn't give them a bell to pretty much keep in that. So, there you go rabbits, have a hay bell to yourselves. So you now, 96,000 years left. And it's just going to be a hay soft, topping up the sheep. And topping up the cows. I'm pretty sure we'll go for both of these. Ooh, three packs of clothes. As in the number three. So we're gonna sell those. Well, I think we can sell them now if we want to, but I think the best price for those is actually I think it's next month. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a second. Yeah, pretty sure it's April into May when you get the good prices. So that's the case. That is what? 90 grand we're gonna get from that? That's one bell going in. Oops. We've got two bell. And that should be enough to fill them up for the time being. Right. Right. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, looking very close there, but obviously we're making more hay. So, yeah, I'll totally sort of move some of our trees back. Wait a minute. What are, we, what are we spawning here? What in the world did I do? Ah, we're making buzzers. Yeah, buzzer, right? When, when did I turn that on? Huh? So yeah, I've got new milk left, alright, fair enough. So I must have turned it on at some point, and then turned it off. Again, huh? I don't know what, then that's some more stuff for us to sell, but... Actually, since we're here, look at the prices for cotton and that, so we'll... Yep, yeah, April May for that, so... Did I say cotton? I meant... Uh, clothes. For the clothes, we are looking at around 30 grand. Actually, 31 grand in April, so... 30,200, so... Realistically, if you get a little cheeky spike... We're looking at making an additional noise his brand. How much is butter at the moment? Oh, that's going down very quickly. So, we'll sell those quickly. Now, actually, we'll sell that now. So, give me a sec whilst I get the cows sorted, and then we'll quickly sell all that butter. And there we go, as we are approaching 6 o'clock. On the last day of March, let's go and sell all of our produce, shall we? So, we'll sell this load first of all, the meal section. And now the back, and how much did we get from that? 57 grand, I think, too bad. Must have put milk in there at some point where we had stock pile up. When we skipped ahead and then just completely forgot about it, but my apologies there, but anyways, I'm not complaining, so next time we have got a lot of work to do in the coming episodes because if it's going to be a at least a two or three parter, we've got the hay work to do, we've got the weeding of all our fields to do, we've got to roll 14 I think we've got to plow this up and put a crop in because yeah, look at the PDA we got one, two, three. That's going to be our beetroot, carrots, and parsnips. And then any other fields? Oh, yeah, six. Oh, yeah, we need to mow that. We've got to mow ten and six as well. Yeah, because I want to get a cut out of that field at least. Because, yeah, if we do that, plow it all up, and then I'm thinking. I think ooh, uh, baby carrots because yeah, if we do 
horror slip on 6 and 110 then 90 and this section here on 10 could be carrots and then 45 and 88 could be carrots because then in theory it should be well get as close to similar size as I can those could be a variety and I don't even know how much they yield per hectare like is there, are they similar are they different honestly I do not have a bloody clue I actually get a little insight here from the field price, well, the prices of the stuff and that sell, but carrots, uh, where's our other stuff too? Ah, oh, there we go, down here, so I think if you, we're going to get more carrots, so per hectare, carrots and parsnips are quite similar, but we'll need more red beets, so but yeah, I'll think about it, get it all written down and note it because I am a nightmare for getting stuff, especially when doing something complex like this. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, first just do. Hope you have a nice day. But for now, Speed Farmer, Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.